So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a brand new drugstore primer that's under $10 that's supposed to minimize your pores. It's also a serum and it also is loaded with skin loving ingredients. I couldn't wait to share it with you because it works so well on my mature skin. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kat and welcome to my channel. I could not believe I've been sitting on this gem. I just discovered it and I could not wait to share it with you. First of all, it's a primer, but it's also a serum and it looks so good on the complexion and it's under $10 and you're not gonna believe who it's made by. It's actually from Wet n Wild. It is their Prime Focus Pore Minimizing Primer Serum. Yes, I see this all the time in the drugstore. Now it has a little sticker that says new, but I think it's been around for the last six months or so, but you can get it at Target, you can get it at Ulta. I actually picked it up at the drugstore at CVS and I could not believe how inexpensive it is. It's $8.49. You guys, this stuff is magical and I couldn't wait to show you on my skin. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, how you doing? Oh my gosh, hang on. So yeah, I have been on a drugstore shopping haul. I've got so many amazing goodies coming up in my next video, but I could not believe how amazing the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum is. And I thought, you know, it's Wet n Wild. Of course, they make that fabulous tinted hydrator. That's one of my all time favorites. But when I started using this, I could not believe how beautiful this is on the complexion. I have been doing wear time tests. I wanted to see how it would perform on my skin. And surprisingly, it has some really good skin loving ingredients. Basically, it refines your pores. It's supposed to reduce the appearance of pores with the help of, I can't pronounce it, Bakuchil? It's a natural retinol alternative known to improve skin texture, as well as other naturally derived ingredients like antioxidant rich ingredients like dragon fruit extract and lavender extract. Now, you use this as a regular primer. You can incorporate it into your skincare. We all have texture, we all have pores. Heck, I'm 56 years old, I'm okay with my pores. Let's check out this product. It comes out in a medicine dropper and I wanna show you the consistency. And I thought it would be loaded down with a bunch of silicones. Uh, not exactly. But as you can see, it is a super, super runny consistency. And what you can do is you take one drop and you apply it to your most porous areas. Heck, I just put it right through there. And the consistency is very runny, very liquidy. And at first you think, it's not doing anything. But oh my goodness, I was so wrong. <laughs> It doesn't have much of a fragrance. I'm just gonna go ahead and press it into my complexion, let it get fully absorbed. Once you apply your foundation or your tinted moisturizer, you are going to see how beautiful this looks, how it makes your skin super smooth. Now, this is good for all skin types, whether you have naturally dry, oily, or combination skin. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do have normal to dry skin. So I thought, wow, if this is great for all complexions, that's an added bonus. I went ahead and turned down my lights so you can get up close and personal into my pores, come into my pores. But yeah, it is just super lightweight, super smoothing. It feels slightly tacky to the touch. You just wanna do one drop. Now that the primer is on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. It provides light to medium coverage. It also is infused with vitamin C to brighten up your complexion over time. I've actually been really enjoying it and I finally got a different shade. <laughs> and I actually did a full review on this and I'll be sure to put it down in the description box below so you can check out that review. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of the Superstay Skin Tint. This is in the shade 118. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. What's with all the medicine droppers, you guys? I'm so confused. I'm gonna heat it up on the back of my hand and apply it right to the center of my face. I was so impressed with this primer. I had to share it with you right away. I was super excited. And the fact that it's so affordable and it's in the drugstore, I could not believe it. I'm gonna go ahead and tap in the skin tint.
I've really been enjoying the Maybelline Skin Tint. It just feels so skin-like on my complexion. It's lightweight, it's got beautiful coverage. It just gives my skin that radiant boost without looking overly shiny or overly sparkly. It just looks so smooth and radiant and I cannot believe I actually like a Maybelline complexion product, but I have been thoroughly impressed by the way it performs, by the way it lays on my complexion, but I'm gonna turn down my lights so you can see how smoothing this looks. Is that not unbelievable? Now granted, I do have pores, I do have texture, but I feel like it just really smooths out my skin. But what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some makeup and show you how smoothing and how beautiful all the complexion products work together with this primer from Wet n Wild. Do you wanna see me put on my makeup? All right, let's do this. Okay, bronzer, blush, and concealer are on. Now, I wanted you to see what it really looked like with a powder blush, with a liquid bronzer, to see how the serum would play with all of those products. And let me tell you something, it looks super smoothing, even when using a powdered blush. Now, granted, Essence, the blush, is a fantastic drugstore blush that's super smoothing on the complexion anyway, but holy moly, this is so pretty. I feel like my skin is so smooth, but it's still, comfortable, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. And here we are with the final look. Now I just did a super simple eyeshadow look with the Glossier Monochrome's eyeshadow palette in Mist. I mean, I'm wearing purple, I love purple, and hey, the primer's purple, so I did a super easy look with the Glossier's Monochrome's eyeshadow palette in Mist. And I just used these two shades right through here and created just a very simple wash of color on the lids. Mm. Then I just threw on the, the NYX Lip Fat Oil in Newsfeed because I wanted the focus to be on the complexion. And I really have to tell you, this primer is so deceiving. I can't believe how smoothing it is. You're not gonna see immediate effects. You're not gonna like apply it and then, oh my gosh, where are my pores? It's not gonna be like that, at least in my experience. After I tap it in and let it absorb into my complexion and then you apply your tinted moisturizer or your foundation, it just takes on this whole new role. Like it just, everything just glides on top of it. And what's boggling my mind is that there's no real silicones or dimethicones in this product. It's really deceiving. Plus it has skin loving ingredients like that weird baka choil, baka chio, that sounds like a Asian dish, as well as other naturally derived antioxidants. This is wet and wild, you guys. This, this retails for $8.49 plus it's supposed to promote healthier looking skin because it's a serum and it's so lightweight, so comfortable. It doesn't have, you know, like an offensive perfumey smell. If anything, it's just kind of, you know, subtle. It's just a beautiful consistency. It kind of reminds me of the No Problem Primer. Remember when that primer was going viral? That retails for what, 30 bucks? That has a lot of silicones in it. This, however, you don't feel like you're wearing anything at all. It's just like a nice little serum for your thirsty skin. Now remember, it's suitable for all complexions. Normal to dry, dry, oily, and I don't know what it is, but it just worked beautifully with all of my products, including cream products and powder products. It just makes your skin look super smooth. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the daytime. This was taken an hour after I applied it. No filters, no special lighting, just natural daylight. And this is taken with my phone. The phone shows everything, but I wanted to show you exactly what it looked like in natural daylight. Then I took another shot at the end of the day. And when I say at the end of the day, 12 hours, it still looks really seamless. Now my natural oil started to peek through, but you know what? 
It was a 12 hour day. I didn't do any touch ups and I still think it looks quite good. Now in terms of longevity and extending the wear of my makeup, I think it works just as well. I mean, I push these products to the limit. If it's gonna make it 12 hours, I'm ecstatic. But if it makes it at least eight hours, that's really good too. You have to remember, this is wet and wild. This is like sitting at your drugstore right now and at Walmart. Actually, it was sold out at Walmart. They do have different types of primers, but if you have pores, I think this is the one for you. It is just so silky and smooth and so effective. I was utterly shocked, just shocked at how well this performs, especially on mature skin. So are you thinking about picking up the Wet n Wild Primer Serum? You guys, for $8.49, it's worth the shot. So let me know if you're gonna try this out. Let me know down in the comments. But yes, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always have fun sharing little drugstore gems like this. So if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love it if you'd be a part of our family. So thanks again, Mwah. mahalo kita, I love you, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.